Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here and welcome to Lost Sphere. Today we're going to be taking a look at some gameplay from the recently released demo for the game. Now the game is only available for demo in the Japanese region, so whether you're playing it on a PlayStation 4 or a Switch, you will need a Japanese account in order to do so. For those who don't know what Lost Sphere is, it's the next RPG being put out by the developers Tokyo RPG Factory, published under Square Enix. Their previous title was I Am Setsuna, and after playing through this demo already, as well as the demos that I've played at events such as PAX West, I'm confident in saying that Lost Sphere in almost every way is an improvement over I Am Setsuna. And don't worry, you might be hearing a piano now, but I can assure you the entire soundtrack is done by an orchestra and not just one piano this time. So I've already played through the demo and as I said, it's actually only in Japanese. Um, this game comes out in October in Japan and doesn't come out till January in North America. So I'm hoping we'll get a demo for North America. Uh, by the end of the year or in early January, as the progress you make in this roughly one hour demo will carry over to the full game itself. So I'm going to press new game. We're going to skip a lot of the text because I can't read it. I can't tell you what's going on. I only know the general basis of the story, which I will explain as we go through. And I got to remember now this is some setting is asking me about. I, I don't know. I'm just going to do exactly the same thing I did last time. And that gets me to the start of the game. Now, options at the bottom right allows you to speed through a cutscene. You don't skip them outright, but it forces the cutscene to go faster. So as you can see, if I hold it right here, it goes through the cutscene quite fast. So we're going to get into the basics, basics of the combat right here. Uh, and I can explain a few uh, basic things as we move through. Now, the combat itself is turn-based ATV style combat. However, you are given an open field with, uh, through which to execute your combat actions. So as you can see at the bottom left, I have an attack option, I have an ability option, I have an item option. The attack option, very basically, just allows me to move my character to any set location and perform an attack. Any enemies in that little tiny area of attack in front of him will actually be hit. So yes, if enemies are clumped up, even your basic attacks can become AoE. And your turn, you move when you actually execute the action. For abilities, you can see here, it has an MP value and also a CT value, which is something we can't really get into yet, uh, but basically, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that is the number of turns that uh, it requires before I can use an ability again. So if I use this ability, it'll be two turns before the ability is usable again. Uh, now all of these effects you can see, you have ones where I move up into melee range, I can position him anywhere and it does an AoE around him. You have this one, which is an AoE around the target and I can move him on the same turn. You have line AoE, which some of these are piercing, some of them are not. Uh, you have one that is a massive, basically this is a room-wide AoE, hits everything in the room. You can see that from the way I'm able to run around the entire arena and I can't get out of it. And then you just have this, which is a single target attack that just happens right on the target. Uh, because this one's probably pretty cool, let's take a look at uh, the giant room-wide AoE. Now, my turn, uh, you can see at the bottom, the little portrait, the bar, the where the character portrait itself is, fills up, and when it fills all the way to the top, that means it's my turn again. This one, let's see what he's got for this. Alright, so now it's going to introduce another concept in combat as well. You can see that the enemy is kind of like a mech, almost, and those are suits that your player characters are going to have in the game as well which give you access to super powerful skills uh, in an extremely limited fashion. So as you can see, the character that I'm playing as right now is now in that suit, and you can see I have a value at the bottom right called EN. EN basically meaning energy for this suit. Now, for this character in particular, every character works a little bit different. I have five different modes that I can enter, uh, each with their own effects. I obviously can't read them, but we pick one and it'll basically take that turn to, for example, maybe buff me and change my skills. So it just gave me that buff that looks like a defensive buff, if I didn't know any better. Uh, either a stone skin effect or just a straight up defense buff. And now my basic attack on this character alone is going to be transformed. You can also change the ATB between weight and active, by the way. So now this changes my basic attack to be a line AoE, which fires through and does a ton of damage. And then we can just do that again. And I think that'll be the end of the fight. 
And that'll last for however many turns until I need to use my energy again to transform. And I can untransform in combat if I really want to, uh, but for the sake of the tutorial, I figure I might as well finish the whole thing in that suit. Now again, we can't really understand the text, but the general gist of Lost Sphere's world is it's a world that goes through a cycle of birth and death. Uh, and basically everything in the world is powered by its moon, which is what it's explaining right here, that moon in the distance. And it's powered by something called memory. As long as something is has its memory, uh, it exists. And if the memory of it's ever lost, then it's considered something called the lost. And the world itself is constantly going through a process where it's lost and then it comes back, it's lost and it comes back. And we're going to be taking the role of a character tasked to defend his hometown. And he uh, comes across a strange phenomenon and has to start overcoming it by uh, finding memories around the world to bring the world itself back. Again, we're going to be speeding through a lot of the text just because, well, I can't understand it, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It's, that's just how it's going to be. You can already see a treasure chest right there. Classic RPG. Classic RPG stuff. All right, so we pick it up. That is what looks to be three either healing or mana potions. So let's go through the menu real quick. Uh, the things that we can actually access for the time being. So here you have your party members and their stats, current HP, weapons, uh, EXP to next level, uh, you know, the basic stuff. Here you have your items. Uh, you have items that you find on enemies. You have uh, cooking recipes and key items and stuff like that. And then, you, of course, you have your basic healing item, you know, 300 HP healing items, 180 MP. And then I think this is probably a Phoenix Down style item, if I had to guess. Um, here, this is, would be our ability list. We don't have any yet, so there's nothing there. Equipment list, pretty basic. Weapon, armor, I don't know if it gets any more detailed later. And also, equipped abilities and modifiers to those abilities. Again, we don't have anything equipped. This is party members, so you can keep track of the party members you have. Uh, this option, I don't remember. I think I might get that option later. Um, this option, I think, is lifetime achievements and maybe some other stuff. This... I, I mean, I'm sure there's stuff here. This is like ability lists, item lists, you know, so you can take a look at all this stuff. Yeah, it's basically a complete collection of like a bestiary you can see right here to keep track of the enemies we've run across and the characters that we've interacted with and stuff like that. And then you have your options, ATB, you know, wait or active. I don't know what any of these other options are. This is probably like rumble or autosave or something. Unfortunately, I can't tell. Background music, screen, is this? And then this is voices. Why was that down? Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. It shouldn't be that funny. But it doesn't need to do that over. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. I'm going to turn that up. I don't know why that was off. I didn't turn that off when I played through the demo before. Um, I was like, I thought there was supposed to be voice acting. I mean, I don't remember, but I thought there was. <laughs> why did they do it like that? Maybe there wasn't. Maybe it was like combat voices or something like that. No, because there's still not voice acting here. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just combat voices. Somebody who can read Japanese, I'm sure, will tell me. Because I can't. So, feels bad, man. All right, so we're in uh, one of the main protagonists' hometown with one of his uh, lifetime friends. I don't remember any of the characters' names, by the way, so forgive me for that as well. Uh, one thing you can also do, by the way, in the middle of conversation, you can uh, you can backtrack to previous parts of the conversation by pressing L1 and then assume, and L1 and R1 to explore it. So if you miss something, you can go back and actually figure out what you missed. Uh, when you're done, you just press X to get out of that. When we get the North American version, it'll probably be X to confirm and circle to do that, but it is what it is. You can find items out in the world. Uh, you can see the big shinies. Nothing in here, looks like. The in-room, I think, probably has something. I'm trying to remember, because I've already been through this, so... I know where, I know there are items about, I just don't remember which ones and where. In-room, obviously, you want to rest in there, get HP MP back. That's where you're going to go. I know... The reason why I played through it before is because I can't understand the characters telling me where to go, because I can't read it. I was like, I should probably play through this once to make sure I know where I'm going before I, I do anything else. So you see these items on the ground, by the way. Um, one thing I've noticed is that by zoning to a different area and then coming back, you can uh, you can find those items again. 
So I don't know what the limit to that is. It doesn't work on treasure chests, but it works on those open items. Uh, just keep that in mind. Now here is the armor and ability shop. Uh, if I speak to this guy, this guy's got armor and weapons. That was buy and sell. He's also got basic healing potions, as you can see. I've got a thousand monies, uh, and I already have both of these items equipped. Looks like I could get some armor upgrades, but I'm just here to show you that, not to actually buy anything. And then the ability shop over here. I can't actually buy abilities yet. Uh, it's a story-related thing. I just can't access abilities yet. It's, uh, it'll be introduced to me as part of a tutorial, pretty much. Another item. There's also a treasure chest. Some chests are locked, but uh, luckily I'm in a town where people uh, just don't care for their belongings. And I can have all of them. So we're going to the Elder's house now, which is up here. And the Elder is the one on the right. She's basically just explaining the situation currently. I wonder if the demo just doesn't have voice acting, so they by default put it at zero. I'm just trying to figure out what that last option was, because it seemed like it was a voice-related thing, but there's... Oh, did I not save? Maybe I didn't save. Maybe that's why. It's still at a zero. There's an item over on the left. Let me try that again. Let me go see if it actually saved that I turned that up. That could that could be it. No, yeah, it definitely saved. A seven seven G. I'm gonna call it Gil. I think it actually is called. It's either Gil or Gold. It's just G. It's probably Gold. Or we'll just call it G for the time being. G or Gil. Uh, who am I supposed to talk to next? Oh, I think I... No, not this way. I have to go across the bridge. I played through it like an hour ago. I already forgot. But I remembered. I remembered. I feel like my... Uh, my capture card's lagging a little bit too. So apologies if it's not super crisp it's crisp when i'm playing it i can tell you that so um, i don't know i have it set to a pretty high bit rate and 1080p and all that other junk so but it just i don't know maybe it'll come out better in the recording but it just doesn't look as crisp as i would like it so we're getting introduced to another character right here who feels the need to look at the camera and introduce himself we got to do that we got to go over here and ring the bell as we were told to i remembered there's an item over here on the ground. Oh, okay. I uh, I guess I went through. I uh, passed the item a little too fast. Back to the elder's house. Although this randomly happens, I guess just to introduce the fact that enemies exist, or so we can establish that this guy's a crossbow user. One of the two. check something real quick yeah no it should be fine it's the same settings I normally use I'm just gonna assume that OBS just looks looks bad right now but that it's actually fine I'll okay, get through this we'll be all right so when I said that items respawn when you change z uh, zone or area by the way I don't mean going into houses I do mean completely leaving the area and you'll see that because we're about to go to the world map that also, by the way, respawns enemies, which I'll be sure to show off to you in a little bit. Yes, we are leaving. You poor little boy, we are leaving. Don't worry, we'll be back. I have to protect you. But first, we have to do one more... Excuse me, one more thing. This brand new character has to do something stupid. And just run off. So he's no longer in our party. <laughs> That didn't last long. Okay, so this is the world map style area, and this is how you'll be getting around and uh, finding new areas and which areas are have their memories lost and stuff like that. Now, unlike I Am Satsuna, these areas are very green and lush. You can see we have a, a beach over there with, uh, with water over on the side with items we could pick up. And these items, similarly to the items in the individual zones, uh, will respawn when you go into a zone and return to the world map. I don't know if that's gonna continue in the full version, 
but just keep that in mind. Now, I've yet to run into a random encounter out here on the world map. Uh, I've really just used it as a vessel to uh, farm enemies in the actual areas. But where we're trying to go is up here. And you can see a bunch of areas over there to the northeast and mountains over to the northwest. So we need to go in here, grab some more items. So we're we're here to uh, catch a fish, by the way. That's what we're here to do. That is a save point. And I'm going to try not to save over my other file that I won't use because I don't think I'm going to play the Japanese version of the game. Because I'd like to not spend 30 hours playing a game I don't quite understand. Oh, can I only have one save file? Alright, I'm not going to bother saving then. So better hope I don't die. Here's what the roaming merchant looks like. Bird dude, buy sell, pretty much similar items except now it has the crossbow for the other character. And it sells just the one basic armor upgrade. Alright, let's go up here. Like I said, we are here to catch fish. It also, by the way, yeah, it explains to you there that fishing is a mini game in the game. And you can go out of your way and catch fish normally as not part of the story. Basically, you wait as soon as it starts shaking, you pull, you grab the fish, and you're going to use that in cooking recipes later. Also, remember that, uh, remember that brand new guy that was passed out that, uh, we were like, wow, I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, we found him. <laughs> he, uh, we saved him from drowning at the very least. Right, and he joins a party again. Now we gotta get out of here, though. And, uh, we're gonna be met with some resistance. As you can see right here. Now, as a reminder, I still haven't been introduced to abilities via the tutorial, so I basically am working strictly with basic attacks here. However, I do have three party members, so not that bad. Oh, there's the voice acting. Okay. It's in combat. There you go. Quite loud. <laughs> He's buffing himself. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill him. So even though this looks like it might be a piercing attack, it's not. And I'll show that to you right here. This attack doesn't have... Oh, wait. It do... Hey, how come last time I did it, it didn't pierce? So you guys want to know something weird? When I played through the demo before, that basic attack didn't pierce. Did he have... Oh, he might have... No, he didn't have anything. I wonder why he didn't pierce last time. I wonder if they had, like, an anti-pierce. Uh, I wonder if that buff right there is an anti-piercing buff. That's possible. I can't read the buff, so maybe that buff in particular, the one that those guys put up. Because the last time I did that encounter and I tried to pierce with the auto attack, it didn't work. So it, they all three of them had that buff, though. So it's very possible that that was the result. So I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. Surprised me. So. And we just have a slightly stronger enemy right here. Now it's going to explain that we have those bonus points. Uh, not much I can really do with them right now. It's SP, which basically, as you can see, you're able to use it mid-ability in order to power up the ability itself. You press square. So let's see if I can uh, do it properly this time. Right there. Or I did not press it. Oh, was that it? Yeah, so I press square to power up that ability by... Uh, I press it at the right time. And it... Here, I'll do it again. So I have to do it at any point during that window. And it can just be bonus damage, like you saw right there, or it can have its own special properties as well. It's really weird that it's it's doing that thing where it's it's only showing one hit. It's not actually changing the animation of the ability, he just gets hit a second time. But it was a good example, made a quick work of him. The bell is ringing. Danger? We have to get back to town. There's danger. And now you can see that several parts of the world have turned bright white. And remember when I explained the whole memory thing? Yeah, these th these places are now officially known as the Lost. And the only way to restore them is to restore their memory. Which you're about to get a, a little bit of a crash course in right here. 
If I could read it, you would get a crash course on this right here. As we approach, say hello to party member number four, someone who knows a little more about this than we do. As you can see, they do not trust him. Well, you can't really see it because I'm speeding through all the text because I can't read it. I've said that five times. I just know that if I don't say it five times, people will be annoyed by both me saying it and by the fact that I am skipping all the text. <laughs> it's a lose-lose situation. We have no choice but to trust this guy. Why are you following us? Right, he wants us to meet him at a shack outside of town. Uh, the shack up to the uh, southeast right here. Where we can basically have uh, the basics of memory explained to us. Now there is an item in a treasure chest over on the right hand side. Can't open it yet though. So I will not open it just yet. I already said I won't save. I don't know why I'm stopping. By the way, since I did level up from those fights before, you do get a full regain on HP and MP whenever you level. Full one. So if you can manage to level up constantly, uh, it can make your life a little easier. At least for long dungeon grinds and stuff. He's being the edgy guy who stands in the corner next to the barrel. We all love that guy. Alright, so now we're having memory explained to us by digging into one of our own. That's, uh, I, you can already probably recognize that's the dude from the very first scene where he transformed into the, to the, with the mech suit. So he's going to explain a, a concept of discovering memories, where you, which you do by pressing square. So when you're interacting with NPCs or tablets out in the world or, or any sort of text in the game, if there is text that is highlighted like that, you can hold square to gain a memory of it. And you can use this to restore the lost areas in the game. Now, in order to restore the lost, I have to walk up to something that's missing its memory, see if I have a memory, see if I have a memory crystal or fragment that matches them, and I can use it to restore them. And that's true for areas, that's true for NPCs, so it's worth it very much so to uh, be talking to a lot of NPCs. Alright, back to the silly music. Did I pick up any new equipment from those enemies I killed? Did I pick up any abilities yet? No, okay. I think the abilities I get after this next fight. So I have one fight coming up with no abilities and then I should have abilities. And that's the first boss. The first actual boss of the game. And we do have that new party member in here. I'm going to immediately send her over here. Now remember about the uh, those points that we got. Now in order to generate those points, you can see whenever I land an attack, there's a little tiny circle bar. He has an ability, by the way. He's the only one because he's like the smart character that knows everything. Uh, you see that bar that fills up? It's like a little circle and it fills in the circular bar around their portrait. When that fills up, you get one of those uh, one of those bonus points. Now, he has a special mechanic that we're not really going to get to explore at all in this demo, where every time he uses certain attacks, he summons orbs, and those orbs can change his other attacks in certain ways as well. Now, this is an ATB-style system, meaning that if I sit here and don't perform any actions, the enemy will eventually do it for me. <laughs> so... 
You don't want to just idle around even with the wait mode on. The active mode just means that ATBs keep ticking even during attacks. Alright, we should be getting a bonus point for her. So on her next turn, we'll expend it since she doesn't have any abilities to save up for anyway. Ooh, we got a crit there. He's very far from getting a point. He's about to get a point. Oof, big AoE. So she's kind of low on health. Let's use our next turn on her to use a healing item. Oh, I missed. The second hit landed at least. There we go. That ranged attack is... Uh, well, you know what? I'll take the ranged attack over the big AoE that hit everyone else. If you guys don't mind, I'm actually going to need to uh, pause in the middle of this. I can see a delivery being made outside my window. So uh, give me one second before I finish this boss fight. I will... Uh, let me pause this real quick and I'll just press record when I come back. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, I had to go uh, grab the package I saw from outside my window that I uh, I had something waiting for me. I was like, ah, I should go get that. Okay, uh, well, we're, we should almost be done with this fight. I can't imagine he's got too much health left. Oh, I didn't even think I should have... Uh... Well, I might be dead before I get the turn to use that point. Well, with her next turn, she's going to get another bonus attack. No, it looks like we will get the time to do it. I'm going to just go directly to his turn and use it just to see. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's dead. She's dead. It's dead. Yeah, so another thing. Uh, they explained that to me in the tutorial very briefly that I, I kind of right-clicked my way through. Right-clicked. Just spammed circle my way through. Um... That if you have multiple people that have turns available, you can choose which one you want to execute an action for by using left and right on the D-pad. I should have actually probably said at the beginning. I guess I'll put it in the title that I'm playing on the PS4 version in particular, not the Switch version. Although, it says right at the beginning on the main screen, it says PlayStation Store in giant words. I might not need to do that. He's explaining to us how abilities work right now, and it immediately takes me into the menu to equip everyone's first ability. And then, of course, you have the augments to the ability in the second slot. I did also get a body armor. I'm going to give that to him. Now when we go into combat, we will have some extra abilities to work with. I think there's a sword upgrade over on the right-hand side. Alright, so we have this memory crystal. That's what they're all gawking over. Like, ooh, what's that? He's like, oh, I got this memory crystal. Let's go. Maybe it'll restore our town. We found it on that enemy, by the way, more particularly. There's a mushroom right there, and then a treasure chest down here. And it is indeed a sword. So let's give him an upgrade. It's an extra nine attack damage. This guy's here now, in case we want to buy some more potions. Might as well get a handful. I'm not, I don't really have much else to do with this. So this is an upgrade frame. I like that that he who I just got in my party randomly has an upgrade that's available here and nobody else did. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Five. Oh, that's the maximum I can afford. Uh, I guess I'll just buy these. You actually, w I will find those naturally in I think the next dungeon. That being said, I could also just buy them. <laughs> so I'm going to go with that. Alright, now we get to see us restore a piece of that town. And then there should be one more dungeon, and then the demo should be over. And it's going to be a pretty long video, but it's I'm not going to break this demo video into two. Come on. Come on. And I have played against one of the later game bosses. Uh, the demo that I played at PAX West in particular... Uh, I had the choice between doing this early part of the game with the story. Uh, I don't even think it would have taken me this far. I think it probably would have taken me up to the fishing scene and then just a little bit further. 
Um, maybe to that boss? I don't know. Probably to that boss it probably would have ended. But I also got to fight uh, a boss way later in the game. A series of bosses way later in the game. And uh, that was incredibly fun. It was against a giant robot. He, he was really strong. He was like one-shotting people on certain attacks. And that boss fight was a lot of fun. Especially because I had access to the mech suits. I knew what the names were. I just... They slip in my they slip in my mind, man. In my main. So at this point, I only have a small portion of the town, and they're just kind of asking her what you know what's going on, or trying to explain stuff, trying to get some trying to get some answers and ask more questions. As this guy who knows everything about it is uh, keeping us in the loop of what's actually going on. Although he seemed confused there, question mark over the head and all. Now, we can stop and sleep at the inn if we want to. However, as I said earlier, when you level up, you do get uh, you do get your HP and MP back. Or, uh, yeah, HP and MP back, not SP. SP is the little bar. that The little orb bar that I keep forgetting the name for. So, I'm not going to stop at the inn. And also, the weapon and ability shop was still lost. So, I couldn't really do anything else. So, this is the only other dungeon we have in the demo, or at least the only other one that I let me do before it said, Hey, the demo's over. Would you like to buy the game? And I was like, I can't understand a word. So, I don't know if it's a good idea. So, um, when I return to the world map, enemies do respawn. I'll show you that a little bit later, but first let's kill off some of these enemies. Now, for some of the abilities that we managed to get our hands on, um, you can see he's got something that's it's slightly larger than the uh, place for his basic attack. And that was really strong. Him, you already saw what his ability does. And what his basic attack does. For him, I got... Now, this is actually a piercing shot. And it's always a piercing shot. So, I'm still confused about how it pierced. But it does more damage. And then these are armor parts and food parts that you can use. As well as, you know, EXP, money earned, stuff like that. And at this point, it becomes very traditional in a sense of uh, RPGs. Goal is to get through the dungeon, go fight the boss at the end, get the treasure, and leave. Each of these big rooms also has enemies. I would like to see maybe parts later in the game, uh, since it doesn't seem to be happening here, where uh, it's not just in these kind of... It, it feels like too many of the fights maybe happen in these big designated rooms. And maybe I would like to have some fights that take place in the narrow hallways as opposed to that. I'm not saying they don't happen. I'm just saying that for this dungeon in particular, I know that they all happen in these big, you know, pre-made uh, pre rooms. Although, I am noticing different enemy layouts, at the very least, than what I experienced the last time. Although, the same enemy types, just different enemy layouts. Like, the first room, uh, the first time I did, I had three enemies. That second room had two enemies. This one had four enemies. I don't know why there's one less enemy. It feels like there's one less enemy in every room. So, a good example of trying to hit every enemy... Looks like they're a little too spread apart for me to hit all of them. Now, one special property about that is it immediately gives her another turn. And you can see with my basic attack, I am able to hit both of them. And there you go. That's a double KO with just her turn. Now, this guy's got this massive defense buff, so we'll just auto-attack our way through this guy and store up some SP. Is he dead? He's dead. I wonder what lines that's going to be in English that's going to be like Mimi, like because you hear it so often. Oh, we got four enemies in this room. She's going to level up again soon, I believe, so we might as well just burn through her MP for the time being, especially because hers happens to be really good, although his is pretty good too. His just doesn't come with... Oh my goodness. That one shot, though. In case you're wondering, I don't have to target that one enemy. I can change through enemies uh, when I'm selecting an attack by using the right analog stick. Although sometimes it's a little off. Like, sometimes I just want to press left or right. It doesn't really feel like it wants to respond to me right the, uh, exactly the way I want. So a lot of the times I just end up trying to... If, I, if it's not vital that I kill a certain enemy first, I'll just kind of pick an enemy and try to make sure I hit more than one enemy at once. Oh, new crossbow. Oh, by the way, I never equipped his new... Did I not buy it? I thought I bought it. 
Alright, I guess I didn't. I, I could have swore I bought his item when we were there. I must have pressed X instead of circle. But, uh, we'll be fine. I showed you that it was there, I just didn't buy it. See, last time I did this one, it had six enemies. Uh, let me see how many I can hit. Can I hit three by any chance? No. They're just a little too spread apart. Maybe, well, with her ability, I can. With his ability, it doesn't look like it. Wow, and I actually missed one, too. Her ability, maybe hit all four? Nah, I'll just hit three. See, now that one, that is nothing like any of the attacks. I didn't even enhance that attack. That attack just happened to be like this this three-directional attack that I had. You're probably assuming it has something to do with the new, uh, with the new bow that he got, but not every attack's going to look like that. Although it looks like I did use his... Uh, I did use his SP, so it could have been SP related. I didn't need to use his SP if I did, but he I, he pretty sure he had SP filled. Although he hasn't really been getting a whole lot of turns, so it's hard to tell. Let's see what he does when he fires this attack. Yeah, no, I totally used SP on him because his SP is definitely gone. Oh, I guess I used SP then. Oh, so everyone just uh, powered, uh, leveled up, by the way, and that was a memory crystal I just found. Um, and now they all have a second ability slot. No abilities for me to equip at this point, but at least I have a second <laughs> slot. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with basic attacks. It's going to take me a little while longer to kill them, but I should be okay. Those guys only have, like, 30-ish health, so I'll take care of them first. Oh, so his attack... Piercing. I'm gonna... Just wanna see if by default it does it. Because now he has no CP, so... Yeah, no, it went through. I'm just gonna assume that that buff that that guy has just doesn't allow attacks to go through. I can't think of any other reason why the last time I played, that attack did not go through enemies. I, there's literally no other reason I could think of other than that buff is a projectile blocker as well. So we're just going to say that attack is a, is a projectile blocker. So the boss should be in that room. I think there's... I feel like there's loot in another room before I go in there. That's the entrance back to the... Or that's the exit back to the beginning. Does this room have... No, I just came from this room. No, 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 yeah, I think I've... Uh, I think I... I did everything. So if I wanted to, before the boss, I could grind out. I could exit this area and then come back in. And it would respawn the enemies. So if you want to grind out entire floors. No, we already said I'm not saving. Alright. Very loud, uh... Cop siren. Okay. <laughs> They're here for me, boys. Alright. So I'm gonna try to keep them all semi-separated. Keep both my melees on opposite sides. I can't wait till I get to actually exploring the abilities that work in conjunction with those orbs. Unfortunately, it's not going to be in this demo. Oh, we got a crit buff out of that. Yeah, she gets a lot of damage off per turn because of that. This guy teleporting around gets kind of annoying, but I think I'll be alright. She uses a lot of MP to do that, but man, does she get a lot of damage off. Oh, I wanted to press square there. I actually wanted to use it. Ooh, that looked painful. I actually don't know if he has any other attacks. So I'm just going to use a potion. Oh, 
Oops, sorry. I need to wait one more turn. See, he didn't have any CP. I guess just sometimes. Oh, you know what it is? He probably gets a buff from using that skill. Maybe because he his crit buff is gone now is what I just noticed. So I wonder if, if that's if that's what it has something to do with. He like gets that crit buff and then expends it. Gotta be something along those lines. Alright, so there's his crit buff. I kinda wanna just get back to his turn and see if that buff gets expended. So I'm actually just gonna straight up just wait till his turn is here. There you go. No, didn't do it that time. I did use his his CP, but that's about it. Yeah, it just must be it just must be a random occurrence of some kind. Ooh, six health. Yeah, you might not want to. Uh, I don't want to just use that on you. You can also move when using items, in case you can tell from that, by the way. Oh, and boss dead. Everyone's level six. I mean, it's pretty much all caught up to where I was on the other playthrough now. All right, and that's pretty much a wrap for the demo. I uh, I personally like the combat in this game a lot more than I am Setsuna. I'm digging the areas in question as well a lot more. Um, so far, there does seem to be the potential concern that there's maybe still not enough variety in the number of areas we go to. Um, whereas I am Setsuna, everything was covered in snow. Uh, so far, everything has been very green and, and colorful in this game. And I'd, I'd like to see a mix of that. I'm hoping to travel to desert areas, to snowy mountains, to fiery volcanoes. You know, I don't, I don't, uh, I like consistency in RPGs, but not that degree of consistency where uh, there's only ever one style of area that you travel to. I'm hoping that uh, that's not going to be the case when we get past the demo. So we can exit the dungeon now. I could stay and grind if you guys want, but I don't think you guys want that. I'm going to just run around the map real quick and see if we can see any areas of variance. Especially because it doesn't seem... So we have this little beach area here at the bottom right. Although it doesn't look like... Can we actually go out to the dock? Or is that just going to be where we go to use our ship? Alright, so we can't go there yet. That's the shack that we just came from. We have the lost area. We have this area over here to the west. Let's just run over here and see if there's anything waiting for me. So we have the mountains. We have more lost areas to the north. I guess it would maybe help if I had any idea how big the world map was. Which I don't... I don't have a world map, so... Can't, uh, can't discern that just yet. I don't know why I'm stopping to pick up items. Listen, I see shiny, I get shiny. I'm gonna walk past this one, I promise. I lied. The forest over there on the left, which we've already been to. You can see more open plains to the north. You can see a change in the color scheme over here. Can I actually go this way? Like, will it try to stop me? Nope. Yeah, it says, uh, don't go this way. That's That was its its nice little way of saying, don't go this way. It does look like the atmosphere of the areas over there, it looks a little bleaker. Not entirely what I meant, but it's something. And if I'm not mistaken, the demo should end right here. Thanks for playing the demo. Would you like to buy the game? Would you like to buy the game? Is that gonna send me to the PlayStation Store? Just send me. Nope. That was me denying playing the game twice. I, I maybe one of them was something different, but that is a wrap for 
the Lost Sphere demo. Uh, keep in mind it launches in late October in Japan and doesn't launch until January for North America. Hopefully, like I said, we get the English demo again and we can check it out when that happens as well. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned. We will be doing some coverage on Lost Sphere as it gets closer to its launch. Thank you, and until next time, take care.